That is the sun. I have not seen it in like four days. Oh, J Ma, this is amazing. Good morning, Dubs and Spud. Chris and Kaylin's pet pumpkins. And I've really taken over the apartment. Good morning, friends. Good morning. What you got going there? Just a uh, little smoothie. Oh. A few bananas we had left. Oh. And we're heading into downtown. We're gonna take the coast. Nice bikes. They're very lovely. And I love your massive seat bags. Those are really handy. You could keep so many vegan treats in there. You could have like a full day's lunch. Dates, peanut butter. We got the vegan sticker, Cowspiracy on the other side. And it's a beautiful day. Yeah, nice and we have a meetup that I'm hosting and I'm pretty notorious for being the worst meetup organizer ever in that I announce it like 20 hours before the meetup happens so that, that's how I always do it. We'll see who shows up but we're going to a place called Meet M-E-E-T in Gastown in downtown Vancouver and I'm packing up all my stuff because I just don't know how the day will manifest and unfold and UBC is like in the western little pocket corner. We're like what are we 10 miles 15k from downtown? Yeah, it's like a decent ride, so I'm just gonna take everything. But it's a beautiful day, and it's not raining, and there's sun out, and oh, it's so good. I've been waiting for this for weeks, for months maybe. so grateful to be somewhere comfortable in a city and the meetup starts in a few minutes what would you like to say to the to the people who watch my crazy videos um i'm vegan you're vegan yeah that's so cool being oh, yeah. vegan's awesome right yeah what what's your favorite vegan food um cucumber cucumber that's so good what about you Oh her yeah? Eats makeup. Makeup? Yes. That's her favorite vegan food? No. That's good. Yes, her eats it. <laughs> oh, made it to the meetup. I'm a bit late. Hello everybody, thanks for coming. And yeah, let's go let's go eat some burgers and mac and cheese and amazing things. I feel like I'm back in Thailand. We're locking up all our bikes together. I miss Thailand.
lunch was freaking amazed. I already miss being in the mountains and in the boonies, but the food, it, it pays off to be here. There's a lot of cars, but the food's amazing. And I want all my friends to lift my bike <laughs> to see what I'm going through over these months. All right, okay. give, give it a try. Okay, I'll try. I don't think it, I can. No, okay. <laughs> Got it. That's so heavy. Yeah. Holy shit. I go up mountains with that. Yeah. So don't really here. Oh, <laughs> it's so tough. Don't drop it. No, uh, hold it on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so heavy. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that is like six times heavier than my bike or something. Oh, more, man, more. <laughs> We're walking around Chinatown in Vancouver. I feel like I'm back in China. And we are at Vegan Supply Co. Gotta hit up an all vegan shop if you're in a city. It's like the Republic of V in the Bay Area. We have a similar a similar store to this. Okay. Fresh off the boat from Toronto. Nice. Here is the carbonara. Thank you. That was made in conjunction with the Vegan Magic Bacon Grease, so it's got like a smoky bacony flavor to it. It really does taste like bacon. Yeah. And then, we're just here. Whoa. Yes. There's never anyone in the Republic of V in Berkeley, but this vegan shop is like busy. This is awesome. This is the best vegan sticker and button collection I've probably ever seen. You have the Stranger Things button, and there's a sticker of it. Taco, vegan power, but that might be the best one. All right, we're dispersing, and uh, you know, it would be so reasonable if I hosted a meetup and, you know, anyone could come and maybe the group wouldn't get along or there'd be some weirdos, who knows? There's lots of different types of people that all make the world go round, but I swear, every single time I've hosted a meetup, it's just rad people that are super nice and we all get along and have fun and exchange numbers and it's cool because I'm always passing through, but I can help build community. You know, I'm building community in the comments section. I'm sure some of you guys have become friends online or through email, but my favorite thing is to like roll into a town, get a bunch of strangers that are vegan that don't know each other to come through and then for them to be friends and they can hang out because uh, they live in the same area. Area. So that's just what went down and I love it so much and I'm gonna roll around just explore uh, Downtown for a little bit and then I'm heading tonight to my dad's best friend growing up who lives here in Canada And I haven't seen him and his family in about 15 years. His name's Arnie So that's gonna be super fun to hang out with them They're cooking vegan dinner tonight and catch up on life and I'm staying there tonight all is freaking groovy. I'm so blessed to be here. So happy. I'm letting Carson try riding my full setup. Please don't crash and break my laptop. That's more than enough for me. It's intense, right? It's intense. And I'm bombing down hills at 50 kilometers an hour on that. Really? Oh yeah, in the rain. So I made it to Arnie's place and Arnie's family. Again, my dad's one of his best friends. <gasps> Aww. One of his best friends growing up and it's so great to see them. Haven't seen Arnie in 
16 years and haven't even met his family. You got some cute rats. They're so sweet. Do you play with them? Yeah. I love, you have, wait, you just got these two new ones. Yeah, that one But is down, Oh. Yeah, we had some rats growing up too. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, we had two. Oh, wow. P Pinky and the brain. Mm -hmm. So, Arnie, when was the last time you saw me? Um, wow, so it would have been... Um, Who knows? 14 years ago? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think... Have I, have I changed it all? <laughs> it's a little too... You've grown up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but same, yeah, same spirit. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful to get to meet your family, finally. Yeah, same. Oh, they're really sweet too. He's like just gently kind of nibbling on my finger, but not, not bitey. So you rescued these, they were out in the park. <laughs> which park, sweetie? Stanley Park. Stanley Park, that's <laughs> right. How many years in the UK? Five. Five years. Well, I had a lovely evening. It's kind of the closest I've felt to being at home with my family because it is family in a way, one of my dad's closest friends from growing up. Um, so it was lovely to meet Arnie's family. I haven't met any of these people because they live over in Canada and we all live our own independent lives. But it's really nice to make that connection and my, my dad is really, really happy that I'm here too and I'm happy to be here. But let's talk about the city of Vancouver and cities as a concept. Like, I am not... Like, nothing is is good or bad right now in my mind. Everything is yin-yang. It's all just as good or it's different. You know, you need darkness to see the light. You need light to have darkness, and it's all a balance. But it is profound being in this city with being in, in any big city where there's so much wealth, but then there's, almost all, there's also so much poverty and and sadness and today in, in the Chinatown area you know there were so many drugged out people waiting outside of detox centers but then as I was biking in from the university today you know you see all the wealthy people in their nice house walking their dogs doing exercise and it's just like a that's yin yang in a way but it's a yin yang that I hope you know just with the concept of income inequality and people homeless you know when I see it it makes me sad but then again, capitalism, not necessarily a bad thing. With capitalism, you get innovation and you get people pursuing and trying to get to a higher level than other people, which makes things like the internet and computers and things that are awesome and that are bringing hopefully more truth and peace into the world. And again, it's all yin yang. I'm not saying anything's good or bad, but to be in a city after spending the last 52 days in some of the most remote places in North America where people have very little money and resources and access to to career paths and to pursue their dreams. You know, a lot of people, they just hunt and collect firewood and work at the mechanics store in their local town. And it's just so profound to be in a city just bustling with opportunity and with everything you can imagine from poverty to wealth and good food and junk food and processed food and community gardens. Like cities are just the bunt of jumble of everything. And it's so crazy to be here. How did I make it here, guys? How did I get past all the 18 wheelers and the people doing questionable things in their home when I knocked on the door and they let me in? and the cold nights and the bears, but I made it. So I get to go to bed tonight. Well, I'm gonna go edit for multiple hours and do computer work, but I get to go to bed tonight safe in a home with one of my dad's closest friends. And I had amazing food today and I got to connect with the Plantriotic fam and I live a blessed life. I love life. I love you all and I am living my dream right now. <laughs> I am dreaming. I wake up and I get to go and have an adventure every day. 
And I'm so blessed and so privileged and so grateful. And I hope that you really know that. I hope you know how grateful I really am. I'm not taking this life for granted. I'm not taking the fact that I can make a Instagram post and six or seven amazing, beautiful people come and we get to hang out. I'm so lucky that I get to do that, but it's because I work hard and it's because I had a vision to create the life that I have and I took very little steps over many years to do it. And my YouTube channel, it's not only to encourage people to go vegan, which it is a lot of that because we need that. We need more compassion and less violence in the world. But it's not to go and try to mimic my life per se. You know, dream extreme means, it doesn't mean go on a bike tour. If you could wake up tomorrow without the responsibility, without having to go to the job or the family or whatever, figure out what it is within your heart that would be most fulfilling and authentic. And then every single day while you live your life fulfilling your duty, you know, I'm a yogi, I believe in the Bhagavad Gita. We're all here in the present moment placed in our situation to serve others and be doing what we're doing. But you need to stay true to what it is that just in your childlike self gets you excited and then slowly implement more of those steps day by day into your life so that you can wake up every day like me and truly feel like you're on a Disneyland ride. That's what I feel like my life is. And I've designed it over hard work and making small steps over many, many years. So much love, Dream Extreme.